Hello and welcome to Point of View. Close on the heels of India's historic landing on the moon's south pole, NASA is sending its own moon lander to the same region of the moon. NASA's Artemis lunar rover is called the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or VIPER. It will explore the extreme environment of the moon in search of ice and other potential resources. This mobile robot will land at the south pole of the moon in late 2024 on a 100-day mission. The critical data it provides will inform us about the origin and distribution of water on the moon and help determine how we can harvest the moon's resources for future human space exploration. Here's what the Viper looks like. NASA will use the rover data to show where the moon's ice is most likely to be found and easiest to access. This will make Viper the first ever resource mapping mission on another celestial body. The first resource maps of the moon will be a critical step forward for NASA's Artemis missions to establish a long-term human presence on the moon. Viper will roam the moon using its three instruments and a 3.28-foot, or 1-meter drill to detect and analyze various lunar soil environments at a range of depths and temperatures. The rover will venture into permanently shadowed craters, some of the coldest spots in the solar system, where ice reserves have endured for billions of years. Viper's instruments will also make important science measurements such as physical state and composition of these ice deposits which will help us understand the sources of the lunar polar water, giving us insight into origin of water and other volatiles across the solar system. During Viper's exploration of the moon, the rover will endure extreme temperature conditions, dynamic lighting and complex terrain, while near real-time rover driving will present new engineering and design challenges the team must overcome. The rover's hardware will need to withstand surface temperatures varying by 500 degrees Fahrenheit between sunlight and shade. A battery, heat pipes, and radiators will help keep the rover's parts from freezing or overheating. We aren't sure what the soil in the moon's polar regions will be like, hard and compacted, fluffy, or somewhere in between. As a result, Viper is designed for unprecedented agility. The rover can drive sideways or diagonally, spin in a circle and move in any direction without changing the way it's facing. If it encounters soft soils, it will even be able to walk its wheels by moving each wheel independently to free itself. As it prospects for ice from the surface, Viper's findings will inform future landing sites under Artemis by helping to determine locations where water and other resources can be harvested to support a long-term presence on the moon. Bringing everything we need from Earth for long-term exploration in space would be very costly, so using resources found on the moon, like water, could be a game-changer for human space exploration to the moon, Mars, and beyond. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.